Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to insert a new column between two data frame variables in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that at the top right of our studio, a new data frame object appears. And we can also have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data object. And then you can see that a new window appears, which is showing the structure of our data frame. So as you can see, our data frame contains five rows and three columns, x1, x2, and x3. For the example, I'm also going to create a vector, which we can then later on insert as new column into our data frame. And this new vector is created with line six of the code. So if you run line six of the code, you can see that a new vector object appears at the top right, which is called new call. And we can also have a look at this vector object by running line seven of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our vector consists of five numeric values. Now, if we want to insert a new column between two data frame variables, then we can use the tibble package that I'm installing and loading in lines nine and 10 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 10 of the code. And now we are able to use functions of the tibble package, such as the add column function. So if you have a look at line 12 of the code, you can see that within the add column function, I'm specifying the data frame that we want to update. I'm also specifying the name of the vector that we want to use as new column. And then I'm specifying the after argument of the add column function. And I'm setting this equal to the position after which I want to insert the new column. So if you run line 12 of the code, you can see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of our studio. And we can have a look at this data frame object by clicking on the data object. And then you can see that a new data frame was created. And at the second column position of this data frame, we have inserted our new column. So in this first example, I have shown you how to insert a new column between two variables using the index position of the columns. However, the add column function also allows to specify the variable name after which we want to insert a new column. And this is what I'm showing you here in line 14 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm using exactly the same R syntax as before. The only difference compared to the first example is that I'm now specifying the column name of the column after which I want to insert a new variable. So if you run line 14 of the code, you will see that another data frame object appears at the top right, which is called data new two. And again, we can have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data frame object. And then you can see that the structure of this new data frame is exactly the same as in the previous example. But this time we have inserted the new column by column name. So in this video, you have learned how to insert a new column between two already existing variables in a data frame in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you give me thumbs up on the video or if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.